Good evening. Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Stephanie's Crafting Corner, where we get together every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we make something. Of course, we always start off with our chat and our shout outs and things like that, but I just want to say hello, welcome. Um, those of you that maybe are new, please make sure you jump in on the chat and say that you're new so we can all say hello to you. Uh, but first, we're going to do some uh, shout outs. Uh, let's see. Um, Stephanie, oh, Shirley says Stephanie is almost life size on the big screen, and our TV isn't even the biggest available. <laughs> That's funny. Um, hi, Arla in Palo Cerdo, California. Hello. Hi, Shelby in Ventura. Hello. That's in California. Hi, Barbara. Hello. Hi, Vicki. Hello. Uh, hi, Darlene. Hello, hello. Hi, Barbara in Indiana. Hi, Penny. Hello. Hi, Gloria in Wisconsin. Hi, Olivia and Dawn and Daisy Girl and Vicki. Hello. Hi, Diane. Uh, just a heads up really quick. If you see uh, my name in the chat answering any questions, that is Faylene. Just to let you know, she is on the chat to answer questions that she sees that I might miss. Um, hi, Meg in rainy Northern California. We're supposed to be getting rain tomorrow. 90% chance. <gasps> Yikes, 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 yikes. Hi, Rita. Hello. Hi, Karen. Hi, Betty in Tennessee, in Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. Hmm. Hi, Nursin in Mississippi. Hello. Hi, Becky. Hello. Let's see. Let's move over to Facebook. Hi, Lolly. Oh, she got Tim Tams at her grocery store today. <gasps> Oh, that sounds so yummy right now. Hi, Janet in Arizona. Hi, Lolly. Oh, I already said hi, Lolly. Uh, hi, St uh, Connie. Hello. Hi, Shannon in New Jersey. Hi, Yvette in North Carolina. Hi, Deborah. Hello. Hi, Olivia and Denise and Carrie and Pamela and Sherry and Stephanie Z. She says, at least it's not raining in Upland yet. It's not raining here yet. But they do say it's coming. <sighs> I'm sad. I'm literally freezing right now. My hands are like literally freezing. It's I'm ugh, I'm just so tired of being cold. <gasps> I'm so tired of being cold. Uh, hi, Holly. Did you know that's my mom's name? <laughs> hi there. Hi, Shelly in Wet Rockland, California. Hi, Diane in New York. Hi, Brenda in Victorville, California. Hi, Wendy. Wendy says it's 39 degrees where she is. <laughs> hi, Kelly. Hello. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Jeannie in Iowa. Hi, Shirley. She says she'll send us the snow. No, thank you. Hi, Carol, my dear. Hello, hello. Hi, Vicki. Vicki, you like to order personally stamps. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. You're so cute. She's famous or infamous? She's famous around famous. here because Vicky orders all. <laughs> Vicky's addicted to personalized stamps like I'm addicted to personalized stamps. We just cannot have enough. Am I right, Vicky? Am I right? Um, I'm telling you, I think I see an order a week for, from her um, on the personalized stamps. It's so funny. Um, hi, Pamela. She got a notification. Yay, that we went live. That's great. I love hearing that. Hi, Karen. Hello in Mesa, Arizona. Hi, Joe. She said it's raining in Nevada. Uh-oh. Uh, Vicki says, yes, I do. I know you do. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. And I always like to read what you write. Um, hi, Jody. Hello. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie wants me to remind you, please like and and share please like and share Polly says hi Stephanie can we see cookie and lemon well cookie finally fell asleep so we'll leave her alone and lemon bless her but lemon is a very loud dog and she is actually at do what we call doggy day doggy daycare also known as work with Colin so Colin comes by in the morning and picks her up and takes her to work with him because she is really loud. And we have neighbors upstairs and uh, Lemon barks so loud that literally I feel like it shakes the windows. And so it's not good. Um, our neighbors are gonna start like throwing eggs at us or something. Although eggs are too expensive to throw. They're gonna start throwing mud at us or something. Uh, so we try to like keep her away. So we're gonna pick her up after the video today. Um, let's see, Darlene says, I thought I was bad and I've been getting them, giving them to friends. Darlene, no, Vicky, Vicky has you beat. Vicky, you gotta tell us how many you think you have because she is so funny. Um, ooh, Margaret says, calling for six inches of snow in Ohio. I do hope it misses you too. <gasps> oh my goodness. Grinelda says, my cute bugs made it to my classroom and the children had lots of fun. I enlarged the magnifying glass and the children glued bugs and we added clear contact paper. Oh, how cute. I bet that's adorable. I love it. 
Um, Vicky says, I see one Stephanie has and have to order it. I have no creativity. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Ivy in Hawaii. I'm so jealous. Um, Bonnie says, did you ever make a list of your personalized stamps for us? I did not. You know why? Because I tend to either lose them or just let them go after I get tired of them. Um, but I do have a semi new one tonight that's not 100% personalized, but I will show, share that one with you tonight. Um, Shirley says they're not going to TP your house. No, because we're like on the same, um, <laughs> same, I mean, same house. So no, they wouldn't. Um, let's see. Uh, hi, Loretta. She, Loretta said she sold almost 30 cards today. Go you! How did you do it, Loretta? Tell us how you did it. That is awesome. I hope some of them use Stamps of Life products. That is awesome. Now, Loretta, that's something that we should always mention, re-mention re to our friends too watching. You are allowed to sell, hi Brandy, you are allowed to sell products using Stamps of Life products because I figure if you make them and sell them and make five or six dollars on each card, then you're able to buy more products, right? More stamps, more dies, more fun. So I always allow that. I definitely do. A lot of companies do not. So be very careful. Don't get yourself in trouble using a company that doesn't have an angel policy. It's called an angel policy. But I figure you're going to you're gonna use your, your products that you have at home and people are going to love them and then you're going to want to buy more stuff. And so I think it's just like, that's how I think. So I know everybody's saying that's so awesome. I love that. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to see it. Loretta. My husband took them to his office and they were all stamps of life. Loretta, congratulations. That is awesome. See, now you can buy more stuff. Is that awesome or what? I know. And sometimes, you know, we just want to be creative but we just, you know, sometimes you don't need to mail all the cards you make, but you want to keep being creative. So it's awesome. It's like a win-win for everybody. And it's a win for the people that bought them because they're giving a handmade card that means when you give a handmade card, as we all know, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but as we know, when you give a handmade card, it tells the person you're giving it to that you love them even more than going to, you know, Target or something and buying a card. I mean, it just means so much more. So that's awesome. I love that. Um, let's see. Uh, Darlene says, I have one I used on my cards I sell that, ha that I have the stamps of life on it. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm totally nice, but you don't need to. Denise says, I have a problem pricing the cards I want to sell. Any tips? So does anybody have any tips for Denise on what she should charge for her cards? Why don't you guys give us a range of what you guys usually sell them for? Um, ooh, Shirley says she stamped a hundred or so cards for a craft show. Yay. Yay. Um, let's see. Uh, ooh, Gloria says, Stephanie, you can store all your personalized stamps in an Irene buddy bag so you won't lose them. That is a very good idea. Gloria, you need to come to my house and organize it. <laughs> I'm just so bad. I'm so bad about keeping them all organized. Hi, Vicki. Hello there. Oh, two Vickies right in a row. I love that. Uh, Dawn says she lost my mic. I don't think so. Oh, another oh, mic went yeah. out. I did. I pushed the wrong button. My fault. It was Ken's fault. He pushed the wrong button. Sorry. Um, I'm glad you guys say something. It's like, my mic's fine. I look at it. I can see it. It's fine. But Ken pressed the wrong button. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Hi, Jane in Michigan. 23 days until she gets to go to Oahu. Oh, fun. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, let's see. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. Hi, Sherry. Ooh, Linda says she gets up to $10 per card at work. Wow. Christine says four to six dollars. That is awesome. Uh, they're still saying sound not good. Oh, now they're saying, oh, okay, now they're saying it's back. Sorry. It takes them a while. It takes a while. You are back. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, hi, Russ. Hello. Um, anything else, Ken, that you wanted to jump in? Are you playing with the lights? Are the lights messed up? Yeah. The babies weren't even in here. No. Do I look red? I feel like I look red. You know why? Because I had a laser treatment on my face on Monday and um, my face is still red from it. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Sandy says everyone loves getting the um, cards I make, but she has a nephew that thinks feel sorry for her because he thinks you can't get to the store. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. I love that. Hi, Denise. Hello. Um, hi, Pamela. 
let's see. Uh, hi, Sherry. Oh, Sherry says three dollars each. Wow, you're Sherry. That's that's a very low price. You need to charge more. Or two for five dollars. Whoa. Or if it's a detailed card, then five dollars. Okay. So there's there's quite a bit out there, isn't there? Um, let's see. Stephanie, can you make the bugs into fold it? Yes. Can you write that down, please? Bugs from the bug class make into fold it. Um, let's see, any sneak peeks? I might have a couple sneak peeks, yes. Uh, Linda says $10 per card. They're mostly over the top cards. Lots of layering and bling. Yay, love it. Hi, Linda. Um, let's see, Vicki says, sounds like I need to start a card making business. I could use the income. Vicki, I am telling you, my dear, you need to. Seriously, I, people obviously, ten, up to 10 bucks a card, Linda says. That's amazing. I mean, whew, that's good. Um, okay, so in other news, the babies are sick. So here's something interesting. Last week, I was not feeling right. I was not sick, but I wasn't feeling right. I took a nap, which I haven't taken a nap during the day in years. I took a nap, which is really weird, and I just wasn't feeling right. Remember that night I went out to dinner with the girls and they were eating all that weird stuff, bone marrow? And I, I ate, I sat at that dinner table and one, it could have been, I didn't like what was on the dinner table. Two, it could have been I didn't like what was on my plate. Three, could have been maybe I wasn't feeling well. Or four, Ken said maybe I was pregnant. Maybe I'm pregnant. Now, I promise you I'm not pregnant. Wouldn't that be a kick in the head? No, that would be like more than a miracle. Uh, so no. <laughs> um, so I kind of think it was because I wasn't feeling well. Well, fast forward. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the babies were kind of really cranky and just kind of off. And Kirsten yesterday came over and she's like, I don't feel right. Not sick, but not right. And I'm like, you know what? It could be like depression because that's what I thought mine was last week, you know, because it's been so cloudy and so rainy and so cold and we're not used to that here. And I back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, the babies woke up today with fevers. So the babies have fevers and there's a couple different ways you can be sick, right? You can be like Ken or Kirsten or Miller. Ken, Kirsten and Miller, when they're sick, they just kind of like go lay on the couch and curl up in a ball and just lay there and watch TV and just don't move. They just are very quiet. They don't want anything. They just want to lay there and not move and just kind of rest. Then there's people like Stephanie and Katie and Liam and my dad. When we don't feel well, we want the world to know. We want everyone to know we need this and we need this and Liam is cranky and he's mean and he's just upset and he is just not a good sick person. Liam, if you're watching this in 25 years, it is the truth. But you know what? I'm kind of the same way. Uh, so yeah, there's much of a difference. Like when Ken's sick, you wouldn't even know he was sick. He just keeps going. He's just really quiet about it. Uh, Kirsten, same way. She's like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. As she's dying on the couch. Uh, me, on the other hand, oh yeah, I'm going to tell you I'm sick. So I am telling you, my babies are not feeling well. They are still coming over tomorrow. It is supposed to pour rain tomorrow, or at least 90% chance rain tomorrow and Saturday. So yes, it's going to rain. And yes, we're going to be stuck in the house. And yes, say prayers for me. Just saying. Because Miller, no problem. Oh, you know what, Kenny? I'll take Miller, you take Liam. How's that? Oh, sure. Is your mic on? No. Oh. <laughs> His mic's not even on. He said, oh, sure. Uh, yeah, it is, ooh. Denise says she still doesn't have her voice. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Are they getting teeth? They shouldn't be. I don't think so. They've been really cranky. We kind of think they just have what we had and it's just kind of showing as a fever as opposed to anything else because they're real just cranky. Yesterday they're just, and whiny. Very whiny yesterday. A couple times I had to say, oh, use your big boy voice. But yesterday they came over for a little while and for the first time, first of all, Kenny, how did they even know what Fruit Loops were? I don't know. They must have had them somewhere before. 
No, uh, Kirsten's never given them Fruit Loops. Uh, I bought some Fruit Loops maybe for the them. Maybe fake kind, and she called them Fruit Loops or something. Oh, maybe she buys like all organic. <laughs> we buy regular, and we made uh, Fruit Loop necklaces yesterday. And let me just tell you. Liam did really good. He's very good at little, which is funny because you'd think it'd be the other one. But Liam's very good at little, little tiny things and he's threading it on there, getting it on there. Miller did like eight and he's like, Ugh, I don't want to do any more. And I said, okay, fine. So he wore it. Literally, he wore his Fruit Loops necklace and ate all of them off of within how many seconds, Kenny? You were with him. I wasn't with him when yeah, you did. Yeah, once he figured out they tasted good, he was yeah. munching on those. Yeah, because <laughs> they don't get sugar that much. Like, that's like pure sugar. Uh, so, but Liam didn't eat very many. He ate a couple, and then he put it on the counter because he wanted Mommy to see him. So, it, it was pretty funny. Oh, Jane says her daughter got her molars around two and a half or three. I'll have to ask Ken. I mean, Ken. I saw Ken's name on there. I'll have to ask. Uh, I'll have to ask Kirsten if she thinks that they are. Um, so let's see. Hi, Anna in New York. Hello. Um, let's see. Oh, another thing that is an issue is I think I broke my finger, and I think we're gonna have to like. You haven't told me how you thought you could do that. I don't know that. how. It's my pinky on my right hand. So as crafters all know when you have a finger that is out of commission how are you supposed to craft so like literally it is i'll show you later but it's like all my pinky is all black and blue i need to buddy tape it you know what i should buddy tape it right now with some washi tape but it i i'm telling you i must have broken it i don't know i'm just i don't know but it just like hurts like heck and it's because i was making fun of my mom for hurting her foot the other day the other week. They're still on their cruise. I heard from my dad. He says he's still around. Uh, he's, he's exhausted, I know, but uh, they will be home Saturday morning. So they will be picking up lemons Saturday afternoon. Ooh, ooh, glad about that. Um, let's see. Diane says, I make sure I take care of everyone before myself, even if I'm sick. My husband can't figure that out. Well, you're too kind, Diane. I need you to come take care of me then when I don't feel good. Um, let's see. I think the first time I really got sick and Ken was here and I'm like, Ken, you're supposed to take care of me when I'm sick. I don't think he really liked that idea, Ken. When was that? It was a long time. Well, it's kind of like pretty much any time I'm sick. <laughs> you don't like really like to take care of me. <laughs> and I know I'm not easy to take care of when I'm sick, but still. <sighs> but it's just my finger right now. Um, and I do not know how I did it. Um, I do not know. I was kind of trying to clean off the patio a little bit. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know, whatever. Okay, um, Shirley says my business partner swears by airborne. Um, that is actually, Kenny takes, what do you take, Kenny? You take medicine. What do you take every day? You take vitamins. What do you take every day? I take um, a zinc. And what was the ones we just got? C and D. C and D. Yeah. Who knew? Some concoction. Who knew? I don't Quilty tell needs else to take prayers, it, and I don't I know why. So write that down, Kenny. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. I'm trying to think. I I'm like Ken. Debbie says, curl up in a ball and leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, but Ken just like keeps going. He just pretends that he's he just keeps going. It's crazy. Um. Okay. Can you think of any other news that I was supposed to talk about that I didn't talk about? Oh, we went to the baby's mommy and me class, but they weren't feeling well. And it went okay, right? I mean, it went okay. Nothing like extraordinary, right? Yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. Mm -hmm. It was fine. Nothing really to talk about on there. Oh, close up. Wah! Um, you got nothing for me, babe? No. I okay. Think you talked about everything. Oh, Paul, he says, I'll take care of you, Stephanie. <laughs> It'll be my Stephanie time. Maybe we can get some crafty ideas. Yeah, Polly, are you going to like drive all the way here? You live kind of far away. Um, oh, Teresa says, I was the person who took care of everyone, but now I was diagnosed with cancer and need to be taken care of. Please pray for me. Kenny's writing that yep. down right now, Teresa, my dear. Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, you know what? You took care of them for so long. It's time for them to take care of you. You deserve it. My goodness gracious, Ken wrote that down. Um, 
70, uh, Christine says, 70, could you please make a bunny peep? Oh, I know. Why do we not have that? That's kind of weird. You know what? I feel like I have the art for it and I just never made it to fruition. You guys, I have so much art that's never made it to see the light of day yet. It's just, there's so much like behind it. The vault. No, not even in the vault because it's just <laughs> in the computer files that just, like sometimes I'll start working on something and then I get sidetracked and start working on something else and then work, and then it just gets buried sometimes, but I will keep an eye out for them. That's interesting. You see Sandy says she's retiring in May and getting married in June. Go you, Sandy. You're <laughs> doing it right. Pretty exciting. That is fun. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Hi, Patricia. Happy Thursday to you too, my dear. Hi, Janet. So she's just popping in. Okay. Really quick. I wanted to show you this because I found it. Why I found it, I have no idea where I found it. But this is, hang on. Let me see if I can do this. This is the five by seven because it folds as to five by seven. See, five by seven. It's five by seven. It's the shadow box and it is using our leprechaun to stamp and our dotted squares. But look at how cute all those, um, all the flowers come in the shadow box. A lot of you already have this, but I just saw this and I don't know why it was like around, but I just thought it would be the perfect opportunity if you wanted to make a leprechaun box card so it's five by seven when folded see it folds flat and then you just lift it up and stands up by itself so isn't that cute so i just wanted to show you that just because i thought it was so dang cute and uh, that's the five by seven shadow box leprechaun to stamp and dotted squares and i'm sure you can find it in our gallery on our website okay I also randomly found, I don't know what I was going through. I was trying to like clean up a little, just like organize a little. And I totally found something that one of the original stamp sets we ever came out with, and I've kept it all these years. So we started, com started the company 13 and a half years ago. This even has the date of 2009 on it. So this is one of the so we would have come out with this December of 2009 is my guess, Ken. And this, oh, it's our fourth set. So look at this. Old school. I know this is old school. So it's our fourth set. So look, you can see it says love to hug set number four and has our old, old, old logo on it. The stamps of life, uh, feeding the stamping uh, addiction one at, the, one at a time. And here we go, look at this. So this is the stamp set. I'm sure it's probably still on our website. If not, oh well, oh well. But this is what I wanted you to look at. Look at this header card. We, look, you'll notice this artwork on here matches the stamp set. So what we used to do, look, that's a stamp in the stamp set. What we used to do with this is I would print these on my home printer in my extra bedroom in my house we would print these and then we could print two on each piece of cardstock and then we would trim them all down using a paper cutter and then we would pack pack all the stamps and yeah this is an oldie but a goodie 2009 and then uh we got to the point where we couldn't uh we I couldn't keep changing the art just because I was running out of time. I was did getting busier and busier. Some of those too. I did, but I think that was just the first two years, the first two months. This is number four. This is set number four. I don't even have the originals that I know of. But then we got more busy, so then we just made like more generic, where they're like all pink or all purple or all blue at the top with our logo, and then we would just use a label like what your club envelope comes with um, that said what set it was. And now we don't even do that. So yeah, this is all printed. It's just all printed. No barcode because back then we did not have barcodes. It's uh, not on the website though, so don't send them to Oh, the so don't look at the website. Don't look, you cannot buy this. You cannot buy this. But it's just funny. And so yeah, none of our stuff used to have barcodes. Uh, they didn't have barcodes until years later. How many years later, baby? When did we it start? Like 2016 or 15. Wow. And I remember one of my good friends at um, the other company oh, like a what? asked me, he's like, Stephanie, what kind of how do you pull you? orders <laughs> if you don't have SKU numbers and barcodes and things like that? And I said, well, when they order love to hug, we just go to that spot on the shelf and love to hug and we pull it. We just know what each set looks like. And yeah, now I couldn't even tell you what half of their names are because, you know, I just... 
But yeah, so this is an oldie but a goodie, and I will keep that just because, uh, wow, that is old. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Wendy says she has that stamp set. Awesome. Marilyn says, that's amazing. What a memory for you. Yeah. Wow. Blast from the past, Francine said. Yes, it is crazy. It is crazy. Ever so loony says, that's so neat to see. Congratulations on how far you've come. Thank you. Hey, speaking of, if we have any new people here, please make sure you jump in and say, hey, I'm new because we all want to say hello to you. Um, usually the first uh, few minutes, I just chit chat. Now I'm going to start making something because I actually do make something in these live videos. But uh, if you're new, please jump in so we can say hello. Um, oh, Denise says it sounds like it should be a golden ticket in someone's order. That would be awesome, huh? Um, let's see. Arla says I've been stamping for 50 some years and have my first stamp. That is awesome. Wow. That is crazy. That, that's, that, I don't have my first stamps. I know I don't. But okay, we're going to make something because that's why most of you are here, right? We are going to use today, and I pulled this out because I took this on HSN. Oh, where we go? Where am I? Are you can do it. Number, yeah, number two. I took this on HSN and we put it on our website, but we never officially released it. We never ever, Rita said it's her second time here. Hello. We never officially released it. Edna says she's new here. Welcome, Edna. Hello. It's nice to see you here. Shirley, I would not believe you if you said you're new. You, you or, um, or Darlene. Hello. So I took this on HSN. It also came with, whoops, here's mine, but it also came with a stamp set, a, a three by four stamp set. And it came with, dun, 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 it also came with epoxy dots. So on our website, it comes with all of those. It comes with the stamp set, it comes with the epoxy dots, and it comes with the little chickadee. So we're gonna use the little chickadee today to make a card. And here we go, here we go. So we're gonna open this up. Now, those of you that are new, welcome. I'm excited that you're here. I'm going to show you how to make a fold-it card. And fold-it cards are really easy peasy because they are all kind of like done for you, kind of like in a way, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a piece of cardstock and usually for the backs, I usually use white. I'm just going to fold this in half. Now my finger is almost broken. I think it's going to fall off. I'm just kidding, but that's how I am. Um, I'm going to fold this in half. That's the hardest part, right? Then what I'm going to do, we want to do three. Yep. Then what I'm going to do, so this is my fold right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm it, on the back of the die and let's see if we can get the camera to go on that. Oh, there you can almost see it. You can, oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Place fold here. Look at that. Place fold here on the back and on the side, at the top and on the side, it's gonna say that. And what you're gonna do is if you want it to be a top fold, you're gonna hold it right there and you are going to adhere that down a little bit. I'm just using masking tape from Crafter's Companion. I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine. So that fold is right under that blade, right? And so I'm gonna grab my midi because I'm telling you it's my favorite. Also, you guys, just a heads up, I'm still using my pads cut like somebody had mentioned I should do. The cool thing is you can also do the, oh wait, hang on, I should trim this down. Let me show you something really cool. Also what you can do is you can put it through like half and half, like a little bit, you know, overlapping more like that. So it ends here. So that way you can just less rotations on the machine, right? Because you don't have to go the whole length of the pads. You only have to go the length of where you're die cutting. See, less rotations. Okay, so I'm lifting this up pulling this out and there I have my cute little card and look there's the fold but the first thing you're thinking is ew ew ick ick I don't like how it's straight right there I totally agree so what we're going to do is we're going to get another piece of cardstock and we are going to die cut that normally so we're just going to take the exact same die Whoa! look at that what was that the exact same oh, die <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to trim this down Let's see, let's trim this down. We just need a little bit, so let's trim that right there. And we're gonna lay this down, lay that down, lay that down just to make sure it doesn't move. And then we're gonna run this through. So see how I'm doing this? So this is the edge of the cutting pad. I can lay it right there. Let's do, let's figure this out. And see, I don't have to, so half, part of it, I don't even have to uh, turn the handle. Watch, all that can go through. And I didn't even turn the handle. Now I'm gonna turn the handle, so let's count. Whoops, let's count, ready? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, thirteen. Okay, but just for kicks, now we're gonna do to see how if you do it normally, how many you have to do. Ready? Whoops. Well, it's like catching. Hang on, I gotta get a piece of paper in there. Okay, ready? Let's try this. Okay. Well, let's do it the right way so we don't get in trouble. Okay, there, there, there. Okay, ready? Let's count it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Normally you wouldn't go this slow. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighty-five! I see myself five rotations on the machine when I do it that way. That is freakishly awesome. The things that entertain me. Okay, five rotation as I save. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is now, oh, so now here, look what we have. We, oh, did you just get, is that like zoomed in? I zoomed in, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's my card, the original, right? Here's my card. Here is the top, and I'm just going to add, oh, let's do a trick. Let's, let's do our trick. So this is the shadow die, right? This is the shadow die I cut. Now I'm gonna lay this die and I'm gonna lay it right on top, just like that, okay? And now I'm going to tape this down with my masket tape, and I'm gonna actually take this to my other machine because the Kiss Cut pad only works in the other machine. I'm making sure I have white all the way around so it's all layered nicely, and I am going to grab my dun -dun 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 Kiss Cut pad. Are you ready? Ken, <clears throat> for the switch. Okay, four. so now I'm going to run. Whoops. Whoa, what is that? That's I don't know nothing. What that is. Okay, well, that's the handle. It's right here. Oh, okay, so just go to one. Too much. So I'm going to run this through mm. with my kiss cut pad instead of my cutting pads on top. And now look what I have, you guys. Uh, let's do three. So now I'm not going to use that one again, don't worry. Now look what I have with my Kiss Cut pad. See that? Now I have like a little map or a little foundation of where I'm going to put my pieces. Okay? So now I've taken that die and instead of using my cutting pad on the top, I used the Kiss Cut pad. It's kind of a boring little pad, but it makes just an impression. Just an impression. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and die cut this regular. And I am going to get some adhesive for the back. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm gonna get some adhesive on the back. I'm gonna peel this up. And I'm gonna lay this down right there. This poor little piece of paper here. And we're gonna trim this. And we're gonna trim this because we don't wanna accidentally die cut where there is not adhesive, right? That would be awful. And now I'm going to die cut this. So I'm gonna lay this down. Now I really, really, really only need the little chick. So I'm gonna kinda just go like that because I definitely don't need to do the whole enchilada. And I'm gonna get my cutting pads because we are testing these to see how much we like these. And we're gonna lay that down again. I'm gonna save some rotations on the machine. Ready? Dun 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 dun. Lori says she uses the kiss cut in the midi. Do you really, my dear? Do you really? How do you do it? Do you just do it without the, um, let's try. See, now I gotta try, cause I like hearing that. Okay, so now what I have here though is the piece, whoops, is the piece that's gonna be my chick, but it has adhesive on the back, okay? So now we have to do that because somebody said we could, so I'm gonna try. Okay, so first we are going to die cut the shadow, right? We're gonna just test right now because when somebody says they do something, I wanna test it, cause I like to do it too then. Okay, so again, we're gonna lay this down, lay this down. This is gonna be even less rotations on the machine because look, I made the dice shorter and we're gonna run this all through. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, ten. Dang, that was even better than 13. Okay, so there, there I have that. Now we're gonna test this. We are gonna see if we can use the, gosh, you guys, are you sure? Are you really sure? Are you sure? How do you do it? Because it's thicker. It's thicker. How do you do that? Um, do you just do this? No way. Hang on, let's try it. I don't believe you guys right yet. 
I mean, I might believe you in a minute, but I don't believe you yet. I've never done it in the MIDI before. Okay, so we're gonna add this on there. So we're gonna line this up. Do you just do it like this? Because it's gonna be too thick. Let's try. No, that doesn't work. Okay, who does it? Um, Just the Kiss Cut pad on the bottom. Mine didn't do it. What else do you put on top? You can't put a pad. Cause this is, this is, um, hang on. This is thicker than that. Mine didn't do it. Okay, maybe let's add another piece of cardstock. Let's just test really quick. Last try, last try. No, it's, I don't think it's doing it. Yours might be thicker. Oh, well, let's see. No, it didn't work. Okay, you'll have to give me the recipe. Okay, meanwhile, meanwhile, back in Stephanie land, Okay, so we have our little foundation here. I've already die cut my cute little chick part, right? Now we need to die cut his little top and bottom of the egg. Of course, we are always going to try to get cardstock that is already die, uh, already has the adhesive on the back. Ooh, lavender. And look at this awesome piece. And oh, what? Look at that. It's almost like I planned it. I really didn't. So now I'm gonna run this piece through. It all has adhesive on the back because you remember I always keep all my adhesive back scraps in one spot. I'm going to grab this, grab this, grab my cutting pads. Again, we're gonna save rotations on the machine. Why do we even care about saving rotations on the machine? Well, why? Because it saves us time, it saves our arm <laughs> it saves the machine we're doing less rotations on the machine so we're being nicer to our machine it's just all over good right so we're going to pop this out now there's a couple things with this um egg well first of all we got to get those circles out um with the face there's a couple ways you could do the face number one there is a die that's separate so it looks like this and technically, let me turn it upside down so you can see. So technically, you can drop this face in just like that, and it will die cut that face out of the yellow. And then I was kind of like, well, what if you don't want it die cut? What if you just want to lay it on top? So that's why I made this separate. So you can die cut this separately and add it on top and not in the yellow, if that makes sense. There's always a method to the madness. I just don't know if it always makes sense. Okay, so now we need some, we need some guava. Ooh, no, we need some foil paint. Well, maybe, hang on. Uh, let's see. Okay, hang on. Let's find some foil pink over here. Okay, so here's some foil pink, and we are going to add some adhesive to the back. Remember, you're just going to peel off this sheet. All of that is sticky. Don't touch it. Turn it upside down. And there you go. Now, if you're watching us on YouTube um, and you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you'll get a notification when we go live. And then I'm gonna lay this down, and I don't need his arm, right? I don't need his arm, but I need a lot, a lot. So I'm just gonna move this all the way over there. And you know what? I might wanna do little cheeks. I might want little cheeks in his face. I want the, I might want the cheeks to be uh, foiled, maybe not. Oh, don't forget my new trick. Hang on, I gotta move this over. What? I know, there we go. And so we're gonna run this through. Whoa! Oh gosh, this is just too much fun. I can't believe this is technically my job. Okay, so now what we have is we have lots of pieces. We want to put them all off to the side. I need one of my little trays. Where's my tray? I need one of my trays because I don't want to lose any of these pieces. Okay, so, whoops, I missed a piece. There's one. Kenny, you're being very quiet over there. Is there a reason? doing lots of stuff over here. What? Doing lots of stuff what over here. What are you doing? Here, so just trying to fix things. Everything fix things? Is right something now. wrong? No. Just trying to make it a little bit better. Just a little bit better. A little now, bit better. some of these pieces we're not going to use, but we're going to save it in our envelope because maybe we'll use it next time, right? So I'm just going to grab all my little tiny pieces because I definitely do not want to lose them. I'm putting them in my tray. Okay. So now... I have my pieces all separate. Oh, more dots over here. Do not lose those dots. That's what we're looking for here. Now let's start putting our little guy together. And let's move this over. Let's get that out of the way. Get this over out of the way. Okay, so now what we have 
is remember we have our foundation this is the one that has the little imprint on it see it the little imprint we're gonna do a chat contest in just a minute too, you guys just so you know and I am going to get my little chick body and we're gonna peel off that adhesive on the back just like oops just like this now we might as well do the chat contest right now while I'm starting to put this all together um, so for the chat contest I know some of you that have been around a week or two <laughs> are gonna know that I've already done this one but we have to do it again because are did are you saving the chat on this one Ken um, it should be yes okay because last time it for some reason YouTube did not save the chat so the question again this week even though we've already done this one, oh man, I wish I would have done something. Hang on. Is wah. if you could pick any words to have on a die set. Now remember that means it can't say happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Stephanie, happy birthday to you. That would be too long for a die set. Um, but what words would you like to see on a die set? Would it be like anything? So I know we already did this one. We have to do it again because uh, we didn't save it and I couldn't go through it all. So what would you like to see on a die set? Answer that in the chat for a chance to win a $10 gift certificate to our website. Ooh, don't wanna use that. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some inking around the edges because I would be sad if I didn't. So what wording would you like to see in a die set? Now, I might have already seen your idea if you'd put it on Facebook. Facebook, still you can enter to win. We're gonna have three winners. Everybody has a chance to win, even if you did this one last time, but this time we'll be able to save it, so I'll be able to read what you write, or type, I mean. <laughs> so I'm just gonna peel this up. Hopefully it didn't stick too well, um, because I forgot to, ink it and then his little arms come up see how his little arms come up so of course you know I'm gonna add a little bit of ink to that so we're gonna add a little bit of ink to his arms oh my goodness this guy's so cute okay so we're gonna add inks to this little arm over here I wing I guess technically it's a wing okay there we go so now we can put it on our where'd it go where'd it go where'd it go here now we can put it on our egg just like that. What? I know, isn't that cute? Okay, see, I knew exactly where to put it because I had that little, um, the, you know, the little thing on it. So now the purple, let's get this back. We're gonna do purple now. And I, there's a cup, oh, that one fell apart perfect. That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna open that up. Save these little dots. We're not gonna use them today, but you'll put them back in the envelope it came in. I mean, not that it came in, but that you stored in. So mine, here's mine. I'm just gonna put them right in there. Usually I just put them in the front, but that way I don't lose them and I'll have them for next time. So this one, I am going to get out purple. What are some of the things you're seeing, Kenny? Um, let's see. We have a miss you. You are loved. I'm proud of you. Sweet. To the moon and back. Just driving by. Just Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. You got Day. this. Love you more. Sending prayers. Blessings and love forever and always. Live, love, laugh. Hello, sunshine. Go, girl. Good. Let me see over. That was YouTube. Let me okay. check on Facebook. So I'm just adding ink to the edges here, around and around and around, getting some pretty pink uh, purple on there. There we go. Oh, let's do not a purple check. We're not doing a purple check, but we are doing this one again. I'm going to, those purple dots are usable next time. And we're going to add this one. Okay, go ahead. On Facebook, we have Who Let the Dogs Out? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. So blessed. You're my favorite. What? Mercy. Thoughts are with you. Mua. I don't know what that one is. Mua. Yeah. It's Mua. Mua. M U A H. Yep. Mua. Okay, and then uh, I know S W A K is that's sealed with a kiss. Mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. Um, hi, y'all. Love to chat. My love, uh, you grew in my heart. Grammy loves you. Yes, you can. You rock. Awesome. Good variety. Love those. Keep going because Ken's yeah, going to start collecting those in just a second. More ideas. Okay, so here I have this, and I'm going to peel this up. Dun, 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 dun. So that adhesive is on there, right? So I don't have to worry about adding adhesive. 
and we're gonna lay that right there. Again, we know exactly where it's gonna go, so we don't have to worry. Dun, 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 dun. And then we're gonna add the top one. I've already inked it. We're gonna add this one. Now, once we finish this card, which we're still a ways off, but at the end of today's episode, we will be able to open it up to questions. So if you have any questions you'd like to ask, I'll answer anything as long as it's not math related uh, because uh, I'm not a math person. Okay, so now what we have is we have our little cheeks over here. We're still gonna have to cut out some other pieces here for his face, but let's start doing our dots because our dots are gonna take us a couple minutes here. Um, and remember, all of these dots have adhesive on the back. Now, I could do more than one color of dots if I wanted to, most definitely, but um, I figure, no, let's all do foil. And now the hardest part's gonna be to find the spots where these go. But it should be pretty easy. So now, the, uh, one trick, and it never makes sense in my brain, but it's really true, is if you have trouble getting the dots off the Where's this one? The dots, I'm sorry, the adhesive off the papers. What I want you to do is watch this. I know it doesn't make any sense at all, but don't use your fingernail. Instead, use the tab of your, the pad of your finger and look, boom, it came right off. Does it make sense? Not at all, but it works. That was one of my good friend Jill's tips. And let me tell you guys, it works way better than your um, fingernail, which makes no sense to me at all. Look at that, see? Then you can grab it with your fingernail. But to get it started, for some random reason, must be a physics thing. Um, that's one of my favorite sayings, it's a physics thing. Um, look, see, I just know exactly where all my little dots are gonna go, so we're gonna add this one. Okay, any others, Ken, you wanna throw out there? Yep, let's see. Um, Oops. Staycation, just a note. Uh, this one might be a little bit too long. I don't have any wants right now. Sending prayers. Love you more. That's Cutie, love you more. Happy Mother's Day. I think we said that one. Uh -huh. uh, Lots of good ones. Yeah. Just a note. Hugs and kisses. Oh, that's a purple one. Travel memories. Miss you. You got this. See, I'm trying to do my fingernail again. It's just so weird. And then look, boom, the first time it's the pad of the finger. It drives me crazy that it works. Okay, oh, now we gotta get, we're getting smaller, so we're gonna use our tweezers. Okay, Ken, are you ready to pick some winners? Yeah, I have some winners. Oh, right, awesome, go ahead. Okay, our first winner is from Facebook. It's Wendy Hefner, and she said, hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Our next winner is from YouTube. It's Karen Swick. She says, uh, I don't think this girl is on fire. This girl is on fire, I like that. And then our last winner from YouTube also is Denise Emma, and she says, got your back. Got your back, Congratulations, awesome. Congratulations, winners. Yay, so you three are going to email Faileen at info at thestampsoflife.com, and she is going to get your gift certificates out to you in via email. So keep, you know, make sure you email Faileen so she has your email address. Does that one go right there? And I'm almost done with this, you guys. Two more. Dun, 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 dun. And I kind of feel like, oh, there's one, okay. And so then we gotta work on the face. Now the face is still easy. We could have used that dropped in if we wanted to, but I chose not to. So I can put the face anywhere I want if I wanted to move it. Okay, so that's not one, that's not one. Where's my other pink? I really didn't think it was this one. Did I mess up when I cut it out? Oh, I think I messed it up when I cut it out. Okay, so let's recut that one really quick and let's do the face while we're at it so we're going to grab a piece of this look at this so we're just going to grab this little tiny piece i got off three there we go and we need to use this one right there so we're going to lay this down and let's flip that over so we're going to lay that one down right there and then we also need to do the face so i have two little cheeks. I don't know if I'm gonna use those two little cheeks though. And I know I definitely need some orange or some marigold. Thank you very much, marigold. And then I'm gonna need black for the eyes. So let's grab some black. And then let's go ahead and run that through first and then we'll worry about the others. So let's turn this this way. Let's see how, we, how much we can piece on here. And let's trim this. Now remember, my black and my orange both have adhesive on the back. So that's going to be kind of intense to run through the machine, both all of those, because that's got like four layers in it. But 
if there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so we're gonna run this all through. So me, Teresa says to tell you thanks for the five by seven deco edge card. She's gonna you're, use it a lot. You're welcome, my dear. I know, it was very popular. The five by seven deco edge. Um, wowzers, yeah, it's an awesome one. So I'm glad you like that. Okay, so now I have my, whoops, my little guy here, my little dot. I don't wanna get that on there before I do anything Nurse else. Nurse Sin wants to know if there's any sneak peeks tonight. If there's any, who wants to? It's probably Nurse Cindy, but N-U-R-C-I-N. Okay. Okay. Well, you're looking at a sneak peek right now and you don't even know it. So I'm not gonna <laughs> say go. anything else than that. You snuck one in there, huh? Snuck one in there. So there's the cute little nose right there. And we don't need eyes in orange. We don't need cheeks in orange. Did my eyes cut out? They might not have cut out. They might not like me. Oh, they did. Look at that. Oof. Okay, so, because remember, that was two layers of cardstock and two layers of adhesive sheets. And let's see if that one... So I kind of didn't necessarily expect it to do, but it did it. Okay, so there, there. Now, I can add cheeks if I want to. I don't have to. I'm actually not going... Well, I don't know. Uh, back and forth. New York, LA. Uh, let's see. Let's try. Did I... Oh, wait. Here's, here's one cheek. Let me see. Let me see if I like the cheeks or not. Um, yeah, I do, but I want to use a different color. So again, I'm going into my stash of adhesive back. See, like for example, here's all my pinks. So this has pink in it, and all of my all my scraps that have adhesive on the back are in here. So whenever I just need a little tiny bit of pink, boom, I'm gonna grab this one. And I'm gonna lay that in here, and I'm going to lay this down. Has anybody counted how many times I've used these cutting pads now that we have cut them apart? I don't think I have. I haven't. I haven't been counting. But um, so we can go back through and watch the video. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's not that important. But we have been using them a lot, and we haven't noticed any real warping yet, have we? So okay. So now let's lift these up. Let's get those little cheeks out. Now, here's a trick, and this is something I really want you guys to always remember. So when we die cut this, as you know, okay, when you die cut something, it's always going to have a little lip on the edge, right? You always know which one's the front and which one's the back because it has that little lip. Well, look at this little, little tiny cheek. It's going to have lip, a little die lip, die cut lip, all the way around it, right? So when I peel off that adhesive on the back, it's gonna have that lip all the way around it, right? Hang on, let me get this off so you can see. You're not gonna really be able to see, but you, but it's it makes sense. It's gonna have that die cut lip all the way around that little oval. Well, how can we guarantee that it's all gonna to touch with that adhesive? Because it's it's almost like a pop dot. Look at look at it right now. Look at it. Well, it's barely touching the cardstock, right? Because it has that lip of cards uh, that lip of you know die cut so what you want to do is you can take a bone folder you can take anything doesn't matter and you're going to kind of scrape it a little bit you got to scrape it flat so it can actually so the pink can touch the yellow so it can adhere to it right because if it has that lip it's not going to be able to adhere to it completely because of that little die cut lip so next time you die cut something, feel that lip and then you'll know. And then when you cut out these little cheeks, you're gonna go, whoa. Yeah, how could I expect that to touch the... I thought you were making a little crying little chick when at first you had to turn the other way. <laughs> what? Like a teardrop. Oh, yeah, there was a teardrop. <laughs> yeah. It's his little cheeks. Oh, so sad, little chick. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're just gonna... And I see, now if you use this when you die cut it, then you would know exactly where to put the face if you wanted to, but you know creative license here you can do whatever you want so I'm gonna scrape that down probably scrape my little orange down too because I want to make sure it adheres right don't want it to fall off when it gets to my before it gets to my person there we go look how cute that is oh my word look at his cute little cheeks okay so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna adhere this to our card right dun 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 so let's go ahead and adhere that to our card Okay, oh, a little bit more up there. You could use, I could have used any kind of adhesive for that. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that down. We know the white's gonna line up perfect with the white because remember, it's the same dye. 
whoops, 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 there we go. Okay, press, press, press. Now, look at this, dun 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 dun. Oh, look how cute. Now, we need to, and people are asking what the sneak peek is. I'm not gonna tell you. That's half the fun. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp the inside. Dun, 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 dun. Where'd that stamp set go? It's supposed to be in here. I'm pretty sure this happens every episode. What? <laughs> There's always one stamp set or one mini stamp set you have to go looking for, huh? <laughs> they Look, my new snowballs. Disappear. Oh, I missed. One mm. more. Mm, hit your back. Okay, so this one we're gonna say. I decided not to use that one because I found a better one on this one. I liked this one better. This is from our Eggs for Critters. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't check to see if this is on the website. Sorry, Ken. Um, Eggs for Critters, yeah. And I am going to grab this one. And I want to use the one that says, Kisses and Easter Wishes, because he's too dang cute. So I am going to, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this one's brand new or not. So we will get some, ooh, do I have any colors? Let's grab a color. Let's grab a color. Eggs for Critters is on the website. Stamps yes. and dies. Yes, so we're gonna use guava. Um, anybody know why it's called guava? Besides the fact that guavas technically are pink. Um, anyone, anyone, you guys all know. Okay, so we're gonna stamp on scratch just to make sure. Perfect, of course, because I'm using my secret weapon below me. I'm gonna lay that down, we're gonna press, perfect. And then, we're gonna, oh, we should use it, well, then on the back, we're gonna flip this over, and we are going to add our personalized stamp. This one's a little different, because this one just says, a it has a cross, and it says created by. So technically, this is good for anybody. Um, I picked this one because it has the cross for Easter, you know, kind of appropriate, right? So I'm gonna pick this one, and because, it's a brand new, you know what, sometimes I wonder, okay. So we're gonna ink this one up. First time you ever ink a stamp, you're always gonna stamp on scratch. Make sure all everything gets off. Oh, and see how it has extra because this is a personalized stamp and it's gonna have sometimes extra. So what you can do is you can get your scissors and you're gonna trim around the stamp because personally stamps, you know, we don't know what you're gonna order, so how are we gonna know what size the base should be, right? That's called a base. Okay, so now we're gonna try that again. Again on scratch, just to make sure we fix that situation. And there we go, we're gonna ink that up. We are going to stamp it right there, leave room to actually say your name. There we go. And dun, 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 now it could already say my name, but I had this one not say my name. And I'm gonna sign it and I'm just gonna say Stephanie. Oops. Just like that. And boom, there we go. So, if this guy, and sometimes the eggs don't like to stand up perfectly, see how he kinda tilts a little? What you're gonna do, do not cry, because it's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take three. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors, line it up, so just look at this, and you're going to ever so lightly Give it a straight cut right there. And this one is half straight, half not, so just give it a little straight cut, just like that. You can barely see it. And then, dun 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 Whoops, he's crooked. There we go. Dun 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 Magic. Isn't he cute? I know. He's so cute. I want to give him a kiss. He's just too cute. And look how fun that foil looks. What? I know you guys, isn't that cool? The Maybe foil some on there. Glitter paper would be nice. The fun foil. on there. Look at that. Some what? Glitter paper too. Glitter mind. paper would look nice too. But and then open it up and it says kisses and Easter wishes. And you turn it over and it says a cross created by Stephanie. Dun dun dun. And Pamela says, I just cut the back. Yeah, you can if you want, just cut the back and then it'll it'll um, sit up nice. So now, remember, these are my um, adhesive scraps. Now I'm gonna trim this one down a little bit because some of it's just not worth saving, right? But this is gonna go right back into my pink folder. So my pink folder is there. And then, let's see, ooh, I have some more pink. Now, 
because this has adhesive on the back, I'm saving this, but I'm gonna trim off just this little piece there because that's not worth saving, right? But now I have more pink in the pink folder and that is how we do it. Okay, boom, hit me with your questions. Let's see. Um, you might have snuck up on them. The foil is not the sneaky. We didn't warn them. What? We didn't warn them the questions were coming. I did. So. Okay. I said at the end. All right. I did. You don't think you didn't hear me say that? Okay, we'll see if there's questions. Okay. Or not. Does anybody <laughs> we'll have any questions except what the, we're not talking about the sneak peek? I can't answer that. <laughs> now, Saturday, I'm sorry, Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, we are releasing a fun bow. Oh, see, another another adhesive back. Um, we are going to be releasing some new items, so make sure you tune in same place same time where you found us here, except it'll be Sunday. Okay, so I'm finding my orange now. Dun, 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 dun. Where's my orange? There it is. Okay, and we're starting to put stuff away because you know Stephanie likes to start putting stuff away so she doesn't forget. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, I, Jennifer says, you said yes to vellum in the future. Yes, I did, but um, the price came in way too high, so we're working for looking for a new supplier. Vicki wants to know the, what color of yellow cardstock we're you using. Apparently, Ken doesn't know much either. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> That's a sneak peek question oh, okay. that we're not answering. Oh, okay. No, that was the question. <laughs> I know, and I said we're not going to answer those. <laughs> <laughs> um, is a hibiscus folded on the release schedule? Yes. Um, Beatrice says, can we get more tutorials on the creative deck? Sure, we can do more. We can do more. Uh, Denise says, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yay, can't wait. Yes. Will there be any more woodland critters? Um, Francine, not at this time, the ones that match the woodland ones, not at this time. Um, we did the six, I think, and I think we're pretty set on those for a while. Um, what is the proper place to add a statement on the inside of a card? Interesting question, Carol. I tend to put it, um, I would say, at the top uh, from the halfway up so like this is about like the halfway and then I did above that um so it's all above that because I figure I would write Carol here and then I would write a little message blah 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 love Stephanie so I personally always do from the top half up so like the top maybe third um is about what I would do top half maybe um but that's a good question that's an interesting question I like that question um let's see do we have watermelon epoxy dots? Oh, uh, in the pink, Kenny, do you know if we have watermelon? I'm not sure. We might not. That's probably guava, right? Let's see. Hang on, let me find some guava. Um, well, yeah, it's not, um, no, it's not watermelon. It's pretty close. Watermelon's a really hard color to match because it's almost a neon. But, whoa, well, that kind of matches. Let's go to three. Well, yeah, maybe it does. Hang on. Here's three. That's pretty close. That is pretty close. So this is in the pink section, the pink, um, the pink uh, epoxy dots. That is pretty dang close if you ask me. Look at that. That's pretty close. Could be. Uh, Sunday is daylight saving, so you lose an hour, so we figure you might as well spend an hour with us, right? We didn't really plan it that way, but Ponzi says today's my birthday. Happy birthday, my dear. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Um, let's see. Do we know when we are getting the froggy bundle? Um, Yvette, if you ordered it, then you're going to get it. Um, if your order went through, then you will get it. Yes. Um, Stacy says, will the release Sunday the, 20th, the 12th be alone or will more come out Wednesday the 15th? More will come out on the uh, 15th, technically the night of the 14th. So this is a special release. So this is something special, separate. Um, could you do the pudgy in icon size? Um, surely we have the mini pudgies and those are almost icon size. I feel like they might be a little too, I'd have to check. I don't know if we could, they're so detailed. I don't know if we could get them in icon size, but I'll check, I'll check. Um, let's see, Cheryl says, can you use or incorporate some older stamps, dies, sets? I did, Cheryl, just now. This, is, this has been around for a while 
and this has been around, around for a while, at least a year. And then also the, um, the one I did last week, the pocket slider, that had been around, I think we said six or seven years. So yeah, crafting corners a lot lately have been um, older items. Uh, oh, some people are getting their frog bundles. Yay, yay. Will there be a frog folded in the future? Probably someday. I, I would definitely think that probably someday there would be. Um, let's see. Uh, Tammy says, how can you prevent getting ink on the stamp pad when inking the stamp? Do you mean um, like the back of the uh, the back of the stamp? Uh, the best way I always talk, I always say is where to go. The best I always say is always just gently tap tap tap. So what I do when I stamp, let me get a new one so you can see. Let's try this one. So when you when you ink your stamps, you're going to want. Let me get a piece of paper. Uh, Oh, wait, I had some over here. There was a question about a bunny pudgy, and yes, we do have the stamp set and die set for that on the website. Awesome. So that's a combo set. Bunny pudgy. Pudgy. Dies okay. and stamps together. Awesome. Thanks. Um, I didn't see that question. Okay, so here, like, um, I think the question was, how do you not get it, like, everywhere, the ink? I always lightly tap, 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 just lightly tap, tap, tap. Oh, I always check it. I always check my stamp. If you feel like you don't have enough and then you are going to ink stamp it just like that boom now you can see don't 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 i had black on that stamp before that i didn't know i had uh best way to clean that is you can get like a q-tip i don't have a q-tip here but you can usually scrape that dirty ink off see how i'm scraping that dirty ink off see i got a lot of that ink right there and i'm going to flip this and you can scrape it off. Now, yes, it's true, there's gonna be less ink in that one spot, but what you're gonna do is you have a refill a refill bottle and you can fill that spot back up. So if you ever contaminate your pads, because me, I ha have a tendency to do that, so there's a little bit more over here, you can clean that off. And if you just feel like the whole thing needs to be cleaned, you can just kind of go like this and just kind of scrape it because first of all, there's a lot of ink in there, trust me. And you have the refill so you can always add more. So that looks a lot, on, oh, on camera it doesn't look as good, but on, in real life it looks way better. If you feel like it's deeper, you can just keep poking at it to get the ink out. But in real life it looks way better than that. That's funny. And then I can always, but you know what, trust me. Also, another way you could do this is, oh, hang on, I don't wanna get ink everywhere, um, is to go like this. If they're ever too juicy, Lucy, but look, you can see that's like pure ink right now. So I'm good on that. But if it's ever too juicy, Lucy, you can always take ink out by doing that. Okay, let's see. Um, Sher uh, Sherry, I'm sure that uh, those hummingbirds are eventually gonna come back. Um, I just don't know when. I um, don't know when. Uh, let's see. Uh, Denise says, I, I, I totally with you on that set. I was excited about this month's sets. Yay, I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, let's see, uh, on the Hey Bunny Diet, uh, Olivia, you'd need to contact uh, Faylene at info at thestampsoflife.com. Um, any plans on making a science stamp and die set? Um, Leah, not at this time. I don't have, um, I, I don't have uh, that in the plans. Um, uh, let's see, Serenity says, did you use more animals than the sheep and chick for the boys' party? Oh yes. Are there more animals to be anticipated? Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And I can't wait to share the pictures with you once I actually release some of them because the cookie lady, I sent her my eye artwork and she did amazing with the cookies. I can't wait to show them what to you. So it was really awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, Lori says, love all the frogs. Yay, 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 yay. Um, Glory says, uh, when will the Steffi sick in bed stamp set be on the website? I don't know, not for a while. Not for a while. I think that's still on the HSN website. That's why. Um, and it's just so hard to get a spot on the, um, the release on the 25th. Um, you never know, Stacy. Um, what about a cookie dog fold it? We do have a cookie dog fold it. 
We do have a cookie dog fold at Denise on the website. Yes. Um, how many items on Sunday? I think it's four. I think it's four items. I think it's four items. Um, oh, thank you, Dolores. Thank you. Uh, we need a raccoon. I just came out with the raccoon, didn't I? Elephant and monkey. Oh, fold it. Fold it. Um, let's see. Uh, Stephanie, can you make a stamp set for book readers, for example, books, bookworms? Oh, Grinalda, you should use the um, the critter set that we just came out with, the class that we just did, because that guy really looks like a bookworm, don't you think? And we also have a bookmark. Have you seen that one? Um, yes. Uh, let's see. Sandra D says, I know the online classes take time and a lot of work, but I can't wait for the next online class. Thank you. We actually are working on technically three. We're trying to do three, like, all, not all together, but like trying to do it more in bundles, try to get them all done more. So it's, yeah, they just take a lot of work. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, um, a lemur, I don't even, Meg, I don't even know if I know what a lemur looks like. I don't even know if I know what a lemur looks like. I will have to look that up. That's funny. I think it looks a little bit like a sloth, but it's a monkey. Ooh, yeah, is that what was on Kumbumafu or whatever yeah, that was? Yeah, what was that show? Back, yep. That's right. What was the name Zumba of it? Zumba Fu. Zumba Fu? The kids, kids used to watch TV. a show that was on uh -huh. TV. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. Okay. Polly wants to know if you and Cookie came. She's in Florida, I think, right? Polly, where are you? I, you're on the East Coast. I don't know. I don't remember she where. I know to, she's on the East Coast. No, if you and uh, Cookie will go to Florida. Always go to Florida. Bar. I, I mean, want to go. How about this, Polly? I'll send Lemon and Cookie. And I'll keep Stephanie here. That'll be a lot better for me. <laughs> oh my goodness, that dog barks yeah, and so they just loud. Agitate each other. It is like a woof, mm -hmm. woof. Yeah. I mean, it is like those people upstairs are gonna hate us. <laughs> They're gonna hate us. They oh, my sure are. oh my gosh, it's bad enough with the two kids. <laughs> uh, any update with the longer MIDI folder? No, we didn't have a meeting this week, so I don't have an update. So okay, my friends, we need to head out. Uh, it's dinner time actually for Stephanie and Ken, but I just want to say thank you so much. Make sure you click like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Please click like on Facebook if you're watching on Facebook. We really appreciate it. Uh, for some reason, YouTube and Facebook like when there's a lot of likes. That didn't really make sense. I don't know. Yeah, we have 400 viewers on YouTube and 186 likes. So more so, than half of you don't like us. Yeah. Why are we even doing this, baby? Let's go home. <laughs> We're pretty much failing, but <laughs> uh, actually we're already we'll home, so that doesn't we'll try make again sense. Next week. <gasps> try next week. Is yeah, that what you said? I guess we'll try be better back. next week. Uh -huh. hmm. Yeah. Go cry in our soup tonight at dinner. Mm -hmm. Are we getting soup? I don't think we're getting soup. So, okay. So please like and uh, or whatever. Like and um, like and subscribe yes like and subscribe so my friends thank you so much thank you for your love your support and your prayers they really really mean a lot to us uh when you buy from us you are buying from a small company three and a half employees Woo uh katie's like am i the half i'm like yeah you're the half you only work part-time she goes Ooh, i kind of like that and i go oh okay good <laughs> uh katie's my daughter by the way okay so uh thank you all so much have a safe happy night and weekend don't forget, Sunday, put your alarms on your phones, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. We are going to be having a special release, not on the calendar, not a normal release. This is a special release on Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. We are going to be releasing a brand new kit and goodies to go around it and something else. So make sure you join us, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great night. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you on Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.